Yo, what's up guys? So, uh, this is another one of my, uh, my a few minutes of thought. And today I'm going to talk about Warzone. Because I played it on Saturday a little bit. I mean, we played Call of Duty. Then we went into Warzone. And I found the same kind of thing as to why I always say why I, Warzone sucks. And, uh, don't get me wrong. Call of Duty is an amazing game. Amazing. And then they made some Battle Royale stuff going on. So, so traditionally in Battle Royales, there's always like a final circle or getting down to where it's just, like, just the last pe few people. Well, guess what? Um, every time that I'd played Warzone in the past, you'd get down to the final circle and there's like five to seven teams and it's a tiny circle. So the first people to move in any fashion, which I mean, if the circle's going to start closing, it definitely dictates a certain spot that you would have to be in to actually be the victor. And even then it's not a guarantee, but the first people who tend to move tend to be the first people to die. So that doesn't really work out well. In Fortnite, it was always like you get down to a tiny circle, but there's three people left. And then, you know, yes, it's whoever moves first kind of dies, but it's, it's more dictated. Like you can easily see who's in the worst position, who's in the best position. And if you need to make a better position, it's not that difficult to, to move yourself around unless you, you know, are out of materials and then you're in a bad position. That's just how it is. But there's only three people left. It's a lot easier. You know, before that there was more space and there were four or five people left. Uh, in Apex Legends, like same deal. It's like three teams left, something like that. You know, it's pretty easy to see where everybody's at, at, at all points. I haven't played enough PUBG to tell you where everything falls with that, but I'm going to guess it's about the same deal. There's three or four people left and, uh, and the zone starts closing. It's not, you know, you, you got, you got a little bit to work with, but it's not like you are constantly feeling surrounded. And that's the problem with Warzone is that when it gets down to the last few people, there's literally nowhere to go. Like you can't move one way or another without having to engage. And as soon as you engage, everybody else who can see that engagement starts throwing the kitchens, everything in the kitchen sink right at you. And so now you're dead. And the other guy who actually killed you that was right next to you, he's hurting. The other team s decides to charge in. Now they're screwed. They're out in the open. And it's down to the last two teams over here who were just kind of hanging out because they got the best positions and the circle fell right. So that's my opinion on Warzone. Every time I watch Warzone, it makes me want to play Warzone. Every time that I play Warzone, I don't want to play Warzone. That's how it is. All right, guys. Uh, if you're new to this, uh, follow me on here. Well, sub to me on here. Follow me on Twitch. I'll have the link below. As well, join our Discord. Come play some games with us. Later.